So, I am doing some more VOD reviews for myself and a friend of mine who, I guess just this weekend, he went to our Philadelphia local, well, his Philadelphia local since I don't live in Philadelphia anymore, and he got third behind, I don't know, the other guy, and Rogue Yoshi. So, I was playing against him some more for practice, and these are the games. So, this game, the first game I'm going to show is probably the worst game that I'm going to have or show today. Well, this is probably the worst game that I played. And it will probably be the best to do reviews on. The thing about it is, though, is when I was playing these games earlier, I wasn't really feeling comfortable on the controller that I have. I got a new controller. And also, I'm still trying to get comfortable with my team. I just made a new team change with Bardock instead of uh, base Goku. So I'm using my team of Cell, Bardock, base Vegeta, and he's using base Vegeta, Cell, and Super Saiyan Vegeta. Now, let's look at this. I think I played absolutely horrible. And also I got hit by a lot of weird stuff that I didn't understand me being hit by, but yeah, let's look at it. What the heck is going on? I, I know what's going on, actually. Alright, there you go. So, already I'm pushing buttons in just straight up areas that I shouldn't be pushing buttons in. I'm just not respecting the options. That was a very risky tag, also. I just did that for the Oki. That was supposed to be a, a just a regular 5H. I don't know. I guess I tried to poke out there. Which, if my timing was right, it would have worked. Not reacting. Bad timing on buttons. Horrible reflect. I don't know how that missed, actually. I don't think I got a grab on him. And then I backed off because I didn't have any more assist. I waited for him to throw something out. I saw him reflect, and I think he whiffed something. That's something that he does too much, actually. He'll get hit in the corner, and then he'll vanish on recovery. I should have teched that grab. I think, I don't know if that was one of them that I just didn't try to check or what. But yeah, so far, it hasn't even been much neutral, but my neutral has been sloppy, horrible reflect. I mean, vanish there. I agree with this level three. I don't like his, but I just didn't react. It didn't even matter. I don't like his uh, Oki setup. He just throws a key blast in the air. I have to do, I can either just reflect that or I can block. Not finishing combos. Not finishing combos again. I don't know what the hell I was doing. Just not respecting certain options, and I should have gotten hit there. I should have waited there instead of pressing buttons.
Just didn't react, and I think that's that's not death. I don't think. I don't know what he was doing. I don't know what I was doing. I don't know. I just didn't block just a medium hit. That was weird. But yeah, that was a horrible game. Um, sloppy neutral, sloppy movement, sloppy buttons. Just not thinking at all about options that could come out. Not thinking about different threats ahead of me. It was nothing special that he was doing. I was just making absolute, probably worst mistakes I could have. If it was against a better per uh, person, then I would just get washed without touching the person with the way I was playing. So let's look at some more games. Later throughout the sets, though, I don't know what happened, but it felt like all of a sudden I just started remembering how to play again. And I just got comfortable with my team, kind of, and with the game all over again. So I'm the red cell. I told him to switch his cell colors. I mean, not switch his cell colors, but switch his character ordering because cell has a much better neutral than Vegeta does. Like, now it's still not great, my gameplay, but it's a lot more... What's the word I'm looking for? It's definitely a lot more patient. That's pretty sloppy from both of us. I just wanted to get the hit so I could get Vegeta back in. <coughs> like, I knew there wasn't much he could do in that situation, so I just wanted to hurry up and get the hit so I could get his Vegeta back in. That was a nice little back dash 2H by him. I wanted to wait until he whipped something so I could switch. Get the reset. He's gonna. No, he didn't vanish out. He just landed with buttons. Which I should have been more patient about. I didn't have to switch there. I could have just ran under his Kamehameha, throw some buttons. That. I don't think I knew which side he was on. I don't know why he would run up to me in 2H. I think I meant to 2H there. Right. See, now I was getting kind of upset because he just kept neutral jumping. And also, I don't know what happened there. I guess... I'm pretty sure you only have to reflect cell two times. So either I should have waited for the lingering hitbox of the 2M to go out, or. And I mistimed grab, so I didn't catch his landing. So I should have either waited for the 2M hitbox to come out, or. What else could I have done? I could have killed so right here, but I don't know what I was doing. I guess I just wanted to give him another chance to live, bait sparking. Like all I have to do is knock yourself down with the sliding knockdown and kill him. Mm -hmm.
I actually wanted to go for the side switch there, but I messed up. I don't know how I got hit there. I guess just because I jumped into him whiffed. So... The hell? So there are definitely things that were still sloppy. Scrambling, still sloppy. I didn't drop as many combos. Period. I don't even think I played that much base Vegeta that game. I don't know. Base Vegeta didn't really do much. Uh, scrambling was sloppy. Neutral was still sloppy. But the thing about it is playing neutral against him is pretty hard because all he does is neutral jump. And he'll just, he'll just jump, just regular jump in neutral. And it'll just be super annoying. So, because of that, it's either I have to rush, or I rush the action, which causes me to play pretty sloppily, or I just sit still and neutral with them, which I don't think I should do. I feel like I should just go. The thing about it, though, I probably shouldn't try to make him block with base Vegeta. I should probably just... Switch in cell. Because it's much easier. Cell has much better buttons than Vegeta does. And then this is a dead cell. One thing I definitely have to do though is get better at snowballing leads. Elevate super dash. I didn't think he'd be ready for it because usually people don't super dash after the end of the after the end of the uh, <laughs> uh what the hell after the end of a Vegeta assist. But that's what I mean by I need to get better at snowballing leads. I literally just let Bardock die for free. He, I just gave him that kill. I'm pretty sure there, I tried to ditch C Vegeta. And then this is a dead Vegeta. See, now imagine this if I didn't just let Bardock die for no reason whatsoever. This would have been a much better situation. I should have just waited. Like, the thing is, if I really wanted to, all I had to do is just wait for him to hang himself with the super dash. But it's not. He's probably gonna vanish sometime soon. Oh, he didn't. He actually didn't vanish out of corner. Somehow that combo dropped. I'm pretty sure this misses. I don't know why it misses. Oh, he, no, he didn't jump. It's not that fun. Okay. <laughs> he just jumped into me and gave me this kill.
Alright, let's watch one or two more games. Actually, I think this one will be the last one because I'm tired. I've just been laughing and playing Overwatch. I mean, not Overwatch. I laughed and I played Fortnite. So I'm exhausted. Which is probably why these probably won't even be that great VOD reviews, but it'll be something. It'll be something. I made a mistake and used the wrong assist there, and then I made a mistake and tagged in. <laughs> I just literally ran up to him. He, for some reason, he did command grab. I'm almost certain that that's not what he wanted to do. I messed up my combo. Waited for that. Kept pressing buttons. Sometimes it's good to just keep pressing. That's something that I learned. Sometimes it's good to just keep pressing buttons. You just need to know when those times are. Got caught by 2H. He dropped that for whatever reason. Alright, so this is where I need to be able to snowball, right? I need to play. What the heck? I need to play neutral carefully to be able to snowball. But. See, the thing about that is I wanted to poke out there. Like, if I should be able to poke out there. But for some reason, my jab wasn't beating that. I go for the reset. Lock him down. Wasn't paying attention. As soon as I saw him jump, I should have known. I don't even know which one is which anymore. Alright, that's me. Oh, because I'm red, of course. I knew he was going to super dash, but instead of reacting to it, I just... What? How did that drop? Why did I vanish? Instead of reacting to it, though... I was supposed to level 3. But yeah, in that situation, instead of reacting to the super dash, I just anticipated the super dash and press 2H, which I shouldn't do. Or, I don't know if I should or shouldn't, I just don't like doing it, personally. And here I get, I think I got hit by the base Vegeta assist glitch. Where you get hit multiple times by the base Vegeta glitch and then the combo isn't scaled. I didn't mean to do that, I remember that specifically. And that's the combo that I dropped before. I didn't need to do this level 3. But that combo was pretty hard to do online. I was happy that I got it online. So, I level 3 with it. Switch and so. I have to eat that. I'm not plus since I was in air. I didn't mean to do that. That was supposed to be a reflect. But reflect would have been baited anyway because he did a wait. That was pretty good by him, I guess. I wasn't reacting to 6M all day though. So. I don't know what that was. I think he meant to hold that. That was supposed to be a hold, also. And then he dies. Alright, let's watch one more.
Let's watch one more game. Which one do I want to watch? Let's do this one. I don't know. I'm scared I'm going to pick a game where I win and start doing stupid stuff. Even though that's what happens most of my game. I'm so bad at snowballing loot. I have to be something I get better at. But the thing is, I guess I need to understand. I don't know. I just need the snowball leads. That's what it comes down to. Like, I can't get a lead and just play careless, I guess. Or, I just need to keep playing how I get my lead consistently. One thing that I think I should do is I should never start a game with base Vegeta. Or, I should never start, like, a round with base Vegeta. I'm pretty sure I poked out there because I saw him stagger, which is weird. I don't know why he staggered with an assist. He either staggered or he called his assist out wrong. I tried to punish that. I shouldn't have did a lariat there because he wasn't even on the ground. Unless I was gonna jump in lariat. And the reason, <laughs> the reason why I two H there is because I figured he'd vanish. I don't even know he caught an assist, so I got hit by Vegeta assist. See, that's something I need to get my muscle memory. Is I need to get better at reflecting into lariat. I ran up for it a little bit so I could get the double hit. I don't think Vegeta dies here. Oh, well, he wasn't supposed to. I guess he tried to, he either thought he was going to die or he panicked and tried to switch. I don't know how that twitch didn't hit. I slipped out of the corner. Uh, I messed up my corners. Carry or my corner thing. I think that was supposed to be a 2H and I made a mistake in 2 M'd. I don't know how I got hit there. I think. He gets the luckiest cross-up hitboxes that I know for a fact he doesn't want to do on purpose. It's so tragic. And I'm reacting to that poorly. Instead of jumping as a reaction to Super Dash, I could literally just... I messed that up so bad. I could literally just... Uh... He got hit by blue. I didn't even realize that at the time. One reflect there. But, uh, what was I saying? I was saying something. I shouldn't have tried to challenge there. I don't know why he backed off. I went for the reset. Kind of messed up my pressure. He didn't have to take this. And this is death.
Uh, no. I don't know what happened, but I messed up my sloppy ending. But we take those. And yeah, I guess that'll be the end for my sloppy return to action kind of sort of return to action. Which is basically just me getting a new, an actual new PS4 controller. Thank you to my brother. So I don't have to use... Oops. This garbage anymore. Yeah. It's horrible. But yeah. Um, that was it. Hopefully I can keep improving. Keep getting comfortable with this team and this controller. And... If he got third at that local... Maybe I'll have to visit Philly and win the local. Who knows? But yeah. King Dub7 sending off peace.